Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I just have this random box. So I figured we could try them all out. I have no idea what's in here. I have no idea if there's a full face, but I figured let's just try out all this makeup. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's get started okie dokes let's just put up the hairdo mm -hmm. yet again another dreary chilly day in new jersey whatever anywho right up on top this is the mac strobe cream daggone it tati listen I'm thinking of a video that I could be doing of like influencers influencing me. That's probably like 99.9% um, of my products, but I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I just saw Tati using this. Um, so frig it, I bought it. I don't know what the hell it is. Let's see, this is a strobe cream. What the heck are you though? Ah, it's a radiant moisturizer that hydrates and boosts the appearance of dull, flat, or tired looking skin. I mean, who doesn't have that? Just saying. Um, mm -hmm. Doubling as a liquid highlighter. Hmm. It illuminates and clarifies your complexion with iridescent particles for a healthy looking glow. Uh huh. Uh, should we do that? Should we try it? Here's my thought because as I'm looking over here again, I grabbed this Revolution Skin Silk Foundation Tint, whatever the heck it is. This is a luminous serum foundation and you know if i'm trying new foundations i don't like to put anything underneath because i really want to see what it claims so i think we're gonna let's halt for this if it's a if it's like a highlighter maybe we'll just put it like i don't know as a highlighter but i'm really really super curious about this let's look it up prepared as usual Okie dokies. This is a, a skin silk serum foundation, uh, light to medium coverage, healthy glow, radiant satin finish, vegan and cruelty free, hyaluronic and peptide complex, lightweight. I got mine in F7, no freaking clue. And uh, let me see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Introducing skin silk soft as silk. Man, that is a tongue twister. Why? Why makeup revolution? Why? Um, light as air. Powered by Skincare Revolution's first ever light to medium coverage. Skin Loving Serum Foundation is here, available in 20 shades. This lightweight, breathable foundation glides on for an undetectable, ooh, your skin but better feel. I just did a video on a no makeup makeup look. Hmm, I'm curious if that would have worked out. We'll see. Maybe we could just do it again. We will see. Uh, mm -hmm. Apply sparingly for subtle coverage or build for that second skin effect. Mm -hmm. I like it. It is housed in a luxe glass bottle. I really, really like that with a built-in pump. Thank you. I love the pump. Then you could buff it into the skin with a brush or work it in with your fingers or grab your blending sponge. Let's just try it. Let us just try it. So here's what it looks like. I also did a, com um, a video on that um, tear tear foundation. I'll link that one um, down as well. Or maybe I'll just put up in the cards over here. We'll see. You know, it was such a uh, like a like such a big contrast of I did a no makeup makeup look with something so light and sheer, and then I did a full coverage. I'll leave those videos both down below. You guys be the judge. Okay, I'm gonna shake this lever. I don't know if you're supposed to. We'll just do it anyway. If I was my mirror, did I bring it? Do, 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 do. Mm, I'm not really sure. So here's what it is. Oh, you just pop it open. Duh. I need a freaking mirror. Hold on. Okie dokies. So I'm going to just pump it on my hand. Let's see. I'm going to go right over here. Very watery. Very watery. You see when it runs down super quick? Yikes. We'll see. Didn't put anything on my face. I just have my moisturizer on. And let's start off with the brush. You know how much I love my BK Beauty. This is the 106. So I'm going to just stipple. I like to stipple when I use a brush. And then once I get down here, I like to buff down my neck. Let's try one side for now. And you know, I don't really use that much on my forehead because I have dry patches on my forehead. So I I really just use enough um, to cover the sunspot and then I let the rest goo. 
Hmm. I think I like it. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny scent. Damn, I think I like that. What do you guys think? I'm going to come close to you. Hmm. I like it. Let's finish the rest of the face. Hmm. So that's what it looks with a brush. I have like this much left over. What did I put? Like one pump? Two pumps? I'm not really sure. I'm going to just go in with my sponge. And I'm going to just take a little bit of it just to drag it down my neck. And I'm going to take just the rest of it and just tap where I feel like I need it a little bit more, which is usually like right on the cheek area and back here where I have like, like sunspots, like right over here. And whatever I have left over, I just go up to my forehead because I really don't like too much on my forehead. Mm hmm. That is really light and delicious and it looks super pretty, right? Hold up, sister. It really is light as a feather. True that. Soft focus, radiant satin finish that blurs imperfection while letting your skin shine. Lightweight, breathable formula for coverage without compromising complexion. It is really, hold up now. My mirror is dirty. Give me a sec. That is so pretty. I'm just curious if we could build it, right? Let's just do one more pump. It is super. I just, they did like maybe a quarter of a pump. I'm going to go in with my sponge this time. Just out of curiosity. Let's see if it's build. Yeah, it's pretty buildable. You see that? Hmm. I like, I mean, granted this is a damp sponge, but I like how refreshing it lays on my face. It almost looks like, like a tinted lotion. That's pretty. What do you guys think? Hmm. I like it. This could be a winner, winner for the summertime. Wow, that is really, really nice. Okie dokes, what do we have here? Okay, so um, City Beauty gifted me this hand cream. Girl, my hands are so, first of all, they're super dry. Because, you know, I'm a nurse and I work in an operating room. Girl, I am scrubbing and washing my hands a bajillion times a day. But, and then now, like this season, every spring, I'm going to come close. Don't judge a sister. I get all like this broken up skin, like those little bubbles underneath that are so damn itchy, but only in the springtime. So freaking weird. It's, it's a form of eczema because I did look it up. I'm like, what the hell? What is it? But it is a form of eczema and I only get it like on the palm of my hands. And then like sometimes I get it like on the side of my feet. But um, hello. So they sent me this restoring and hand treatment. Let's see. Restoring hand treatment target obvious signs of aging hands with a potent formula that lasts all day. Microalgae helps um, smooth the look of wrinkles and botanical extract blend deeply hydrates while brightening. Oh, the look of dark circles. Thank you. I mean, I don't have any on my hands, but let's use it. Let's try it. it smells like nothing. Mm, that's pretty thick. It's not moving a muscle. I love City Beauty. I have a discount code below. You guys get 15% off. Is it 15% off? Um, ooh, that feels nice. Yeah, anyway, I do have affiliate links in my description, by the way. It does help my channel um, if you guys use my links. You don't have to, but you know, if you want to help out, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to go on the palm of my hands because that's where my hands are dry the most. Hmm. Ooh, that feels so good. Now, how are we going to open up packages now? Hold on. Let, let, let it absorb. Ooh, this is really nice. And what I appreciate mostly is there's no scent. I get nervous. I know that sounds so crazy, but I get, like, nervous when my hands smell, like when I put lotion on or a cream on, and my hands, like, they have a scent on it. Like, and I know it's... But, like, I legit, like, I don't want to say start to panic, but I have to wash that shit off, like, real quick. 
like in my brain I'm like mm -mm, it's itchy it's chemically I don't know I don't know but like I remember one time we were looking for my daughter's jewelry for her sweet 16 she's 25 now and we were looking for jewelry at this boutique and it's oh they have lotion girl I had to leave because I got so nervous because the lotion had scent in it poor kid she must have been like my mom's my mom's a wackadoodle but anyway this feels really really nice Ooh, i like it i like it i like it let's see what do we have here Ooh, so this is the sigma color correcting duo hmm. color correcting duo quick neutralize discoloration and brighten up your skin with two blendable creams you mix together to customize your shade wow with a seamless layer oh under concealer now you know girl i am 56 years old if i'm gonna put this color corrector on i'm not gonna put concealer on top of it less is more so this is gonna be my concealer i can't layer up like that so let's just try it um i did grab light medium i have no idea how long some of these products have been in here but we got to get through it we have to get through it love sigma look how freaking cute this dog on package is I love it. Spectrum Color Corrector Duo, light to medium. Hmm. Oh my God, look how freaking cute that is. Let's swatch, shall we? I'm gonna go for the darker color and then the lighter color. So here's what they look like. The, my middle finger is the darker color and then the pointer is the lighter one. I'm gonna swatch it right over here for you. Oh, yeah. At first, I'm thinking they look identical. They look similar. Let me pull back so you could see. I mean, obviously, you could see the difference. I think I want to just start with the lighter one. What do you think? Let's just start with the lighter one. I'm going to just grab it on my finger. You know what we're going to do? We're going to just start with this one here. That's freaking pretty. And then maybe we'll do the dark one on this side, just out of curiosity. Can you tell the difference? It is very, very creamy. I like them both. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna mix it. So I'm gonna put the light on top of that. I'm gonna put the dark on top of that, just a tiny bit. That is really pretty. Ooh, I really, really like that. If anybody knows if if your concealer is like that slight peachy kind of look of course that's the peach that will help with the color correcting that is really pretty let me feel this by the way it's still a little tacky it's still a little tacky but that's okay uh, let's see here oh do you remember the kiko milano this is the kiko milano uh, bright duo eyeshadow um that i bought in italy that i never used oh lord so this is in the color 09 look how freaking pretty that is right look how nice let's let's put it on my brushes are dirty there you go i'm gonna make a full look with these two colors yes ma'am so i'm going in with uh this is the rosen ben e29 i love this brush it's really nice and sturdy in the hand so and she's a tapper god i love watching her i'll leave her channel below she's a tappity tap tapper but i'm like girl you're taking too long but i'm sure her technique is great i can't do it and there must have been another color on here because i could see a little bit of shimmer on my eye but it is what it is this is really really pretty so i'm gonna take this all the way up to the eyebrow you know i have hooded eyes i actually did a video on hooded eye application i'll leave that link below as well nice and i'm going to take this shimmery color right over here i'm going to put it on my lid I like to use my fingers. Oh, that's really nice. It's nice and light. Yeah, it's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Hmm. That is so pretty. Ooh. I'm going to go back in maybe with a smaller brush and just build this right over here because I don't like when it stopped. You see how this eye over here, it's like brown and then it stops and then it's the shimmer. I like to just blend that in a little bit. Okay, cute. So we have eyeshadow, we have foundation, and we have um, color corrector under the eyes. That's pretty good. Yes, I mean, it, it is creasing like a snoop, but, you know, it doesn't claim to be a concealer, nor does it claim not to 
crease it's just a color corrector it is very very creamy though very creamy what else we got what else we got in here Ooh, elf squeeze me lip balm let's put it on i have the city lips on my lips which i always do so let's let's put this on i think this was probably one of like the samples so cute if you get um you know if you buy x amount of product oh this says it's peach let's smell it like you get like samples or you get one or two samples well it's so tiny it doesn't smell like anything Ooh, that's pretty though nice and it's clear well what is it what's pretty about it but it is creamy mmm that feels so good I can smell the peach once I put it on my lips mmm okay great mmm that feels really good hold it squeeze me balm your new main squeeze oh elf you're making me blush um, for a juicy hydrating lips with a sheer kiss of color infused with hyaluronic acid, shea butter, and jojoba berry, this lightweight balm locks in moisture. Mm, I like it. It is a cross between a balm and an oil. Ooh, that feels really nice. Mm, that feels so, so good. Okay, what else do we have here? Ooh, the new NYX, NYX, what is this NYX? Oh, the Fix Stick. Isn't this like that concealer? The NYX Professional Makeup Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. So do we need two of them? Should we just try it maybe someplace else? It smells like nothing. I mean, should we try it someplace else? Let's just, oh wow, that's really creamy. That's creamy and that's super de duper light. Like I'm complaining now, right, that it's too light. I mean, where the heck we're gonna use it? This, I gotta tell you, this foundation serum, whatever it is, it's really pretty. This is too light. Should we go under the eyes? Let's just do it. We'll go right here. That, wow, I barely touched my skin. That's about it. That's about it. Does it smell like anything? No. Does it have any kind of, what color is it? Is there a color on this thing? Oh, vanilla, 05 vanilla. Let's blend that in. We're gonna have to try these on their own too. That is pretty though. It brightened it up really nicely, right? Nice. Mm, this feels so good, this elf. What else we got here? Um, mm, honey, this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner Waterproof. Is this like a liquid liner in black, no less? We're gonna do it. Whatever is in the box. Oh, I see a couple of things in there that are no longer companies i.e the jacqueline cosmetics this is the jacqueline cosmetics what the lip gloss so i'm definitely not going to try this because you can't get it anymore so i'm going to pull that out so here's what it is okay this is the nyx epic liner in black waterproof do we shake it are we going to do it I mean, I have to. That's what's in the box. We're trying out these random products. Okay, so this is what it looks like. For you. I'm going to do it for you. Hold on, everybody. Get out of the way. i got to lean in. You know I get nervous. I'm going to lean on in. Let's do it. I'm going to attempt, and I have the nerve, to do a wing. Let's do it. Okay, they're not sisters, but I'm not going to touch them. They're, they're cousins. Okay, that's not so bad, right? That's not bad. I have to tell you the truth. If it weren't 
black and if it wasn't so stark maybe like a brown I think I could like this okay I mean okay we did it we didn't make a mess what else do we have here let's see I have the elf big mood mascara but um, I do want to get my lash curler what the heck is this this is another mascara this is the Lancome I'm gonna put it up here because I'm over here the Lancome what is this the primer yes this is the primer so i think what i am going to do is so i'm seeing here i have three lips four i have four lipsticks one two three four so i have the buxom plump shot and then i also have the charlotte tilbury um kissing lipstick and then i also have the kiko milano oh, um, lip gloss that i got from italy but since we already used the kiko we're going to save that for another time and then this dose of color hint of tint lip oil so i think what i'm going to do is maybe we'll put this charlotte tilbury lipstick on and then put this oil on top hold on oil on top we'll do the mascara with the primer so let me just get um my lash curler and maybe i'll just finish my face i think i just need obviously i need a little bit of bronzer Yep, I need a little bit of bronzer, which I don't have, and a little bit of blush. And let's use this for the highlighter. Let's just try it. All right, I'll be right back. Okie dokes. I got my eyelash curler. Okay, we're going to try on this Lancome Booster XL um, Base Mascara. Who knows? Leave me some comments below. Have you guys used any of these products? I'm so glad I'm finally getting to them because they some of them have been there for months. I mean, I remember the um, the lip gloss I got from Jacqueline Cosmetics is when she was closing down her business. Hell, she up and moved to California. That's how long it's been. Okay, I'm not. I don't know about this eyeliner. It's so stark, right? Well, it is what it is. Okay, so that is that. Let's just try it. Let's just try this mascara. I think last time I put on an eye primer, I think I waited until it was dry and it was so crunchy. It was like putting on like fresh mascara on old mascara. So I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. So this is the big mood. Holy shish kabibbo, look at this friggin' gargantuous brush. You know I'm gonna make a dog on this. As a matter of fact, before I get started on that, I just wanna put a little bit of uh, bronzer underneath my eyes. I feel so incomplete. Minimal eyeshadow on, but that's okay. This video's random. Exactly what it's titled. This is a random video of what the heck is in this box that we can try on. Okay, that is perfect. Um, this brush is gargantuous. I don't know about that under, uh, oh, see, yeah. Leave me comments below. It feels crunchy when you put the uh, primer on your eyelashes. But it is pretty though, right? Hmm. I wonder if it really makes that big of a difference. I don't like the way it feels. Like, I can't even, like, let you know, like, how this mascara works. Because it feels like... It's tugging on my lashes because I have the primer on top of it. Do you guys use eyelash primer and do you let it sit or do you just go right on in? All right, this mascara is pretty. I'm going to make a mess underneath. We're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to pretend that I did it, but I really didn't. I hardly did. This, mm, I don't think I'm a fan. It's just uh, the brush. It's enormous. I, there's no way. There's no way. Although I will tell you, it probably is great on the top lashes, but I would have to get a different one um, for the bottom. So that is that. And then, what else? Oh, the lips. But you know what I want to do? Let's try this MAC strobe cream. I'm curious to see if uh, we could use it as a highlighter. Who knows? So this is what it looks like. I'm definitely going to have to try these um, again. That's freaking pretty. I'm just rubbing it on my hand. Can you see that? Ooh. That's beautiful. Look at that, how nice. Can you see that? That's nice. So I'm going to just tap a little bit more. This would be beautiful under foundation. Wow, that is so nice. 
Okay, let's just try it like this. I'm going to take as less as I can. You know I am not like a um I'm not like a liquid highlightery kind of girl. That's pretty though. Hmm. I like it. This is going to be beautiful under my under makeup or just like you could put in like some kind of liquid bronzer that's pretty that's beautiful wow look how nice it leaves your skin you see that oh that is so pretty and it feels so luxurious it almost feels like a lotion oh that is so nice so that is that are we done with the fit oh you know what i have this l'oreal three second setting mist i'm gonna try it everything feels still tacky so instead of um using a powder or I'm gonna just fix my blush let's put this on I think I saw a commercial not even a commercial on somebody did it on TikTok. I'm like oh, I have that let me just see you think uh, you know big brother's listening to me probably I'm gonna just spray it on my face this is the makeup setting spray um, from L'Oreal three second setting mist 36 hour hold hmm we'll see Oh my God, it smells like hairspray. Mm. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking like the one size, the Charlotte Tilbury, this. I'm thinking they have the same kind of formula or chemicals or whatever that they have in hairspray. Like it smells like freaking Aquanet from, you know, way back in the day. If you guys are my age, you'll know. Mm hmm because that's what it feels like and it feels like sticky 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 okay let's take off the lip smack and did I bring any lip liners I did not but let's try this stuff on so I mean I'm gonna have the Charlotte Tilbury this is the Charlotte Tilbury like I said the kissing fallen from the lipstick tree let's try it it looks really pretty oh this is pillow talk fair Oh my gosh, I have been watching everybody. I'm thinking, I never heard of it, girl, because it, it's in your bucket. It's been in here for months. Oh my God, Rosie, get your stuff together. This is what they've been talking about. I just watched um, Ali Glines the other night, and they came out with um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner in Fair, because it's like the original, and then they have Medium 1, Medium 2, something like that, but now they went the other way and did a, a Fair Lip Liner for, I guess, Fair Complexion, and they had the matching lip smack, and I'm such a dope. I am such a dope. So this is what it looks like. So pretty. We're going to swatch this right over here. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, well, I don't have the lip liner fair, but I do have um, the original and two. That's pretty. Hmm. That's beautiful. Hmm. We do not need a lip oil, do we? We don't. This is so creamy. I feel like such a dope. Mmm, that is beautiful. Nice. Okay, let's take this one last product, right? Let's do it. Let's take the product. And this is, again, the Dose of Color Hint of Tint Lip Oil in Pretty Nice. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is dark. This looks more of like a gloss, right? Let's see. Yikes, look at that. Oh, yeah, this is, that's an oil. What? Like right over here. I think I'm going to take it from my hand and then just use my fingertips to put it on top of this lip smack. And too bad because it's really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Mm. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, it didn't change it that much. I was going to just put it on my lower lip. Okay. That's pretty. Mmm. Look how shiny and beautiful it leaves it. Not that you needed any more shine with this because it's so pretty, but, but you know, a lip smacking is a lip smacking and an oil is an oil. That's beautiful. That is so, so pretty. Let me take down my hairdo. Let me take down the wig. 
No, it's not a wig. Ouch. Let me fix my hair. I just had it colored and I darkened it a little bit. Usually I lighten it up for the summer, but I'm trying to get as close to my natural color as possible, but my hair is like jet black. But anyway, I digress. So this is the final look of these random products that have been in this box for like, I don't know how many months. So that's it. This is it. What do you guys think? I think it came out super cute. Um, this eyeliner is throwing me off like so badly, but I gotta tell you the truth. Um, I did it. I did a wingity wing wing with liquid eyeliner that I thought I would never ever do. So that is it. I will leave all the information on these products below. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. Anyway, so that is it. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other, love each other and have a great, great day. Bye.